Chris, William Nylander is the only Maple Leaf who played in all 82 regular season games, but now all signs point to him missing game one of the playoffs. And what of a turn of events for, you know, a guy who just doesn't miss time, not just this season. you got to go back more than seven years since he last set out a game for the Maple Leafs due to injury. He has had some flus along the way and missed the odd game here and there, but really a durable player for the Leafs. And he wasn't playing with anything down the stretch. I'm told that this is something that, that cropped up even after playing those last two games, Tuesday, Wednesday, back-to-back -back in Florida and Tampa. He woke up in Tampa on Thursday morning in some discomfort, feeling stiff. Uh, didn't skate Friday, didn't skate here this morning, and so it really does not look likely that he's going to be in. If there's one silver lining, though, it, it does sound as though if he does miss time, it's not expected to be a long-term absence. But, you know, there's no good time to be injured. This is the worst time to be injured if you're someone uh, who has just been as consistent and durable as William Nylander. I, I can tell you, covering Nylander's entire career, this is he's a rink rat. He loves being on the ice. Even on optional practice days, he's out there working on his craft, so it sure stood out that he wasn't able to get on the ice yesterday or even this morning, at least to take a bit of a twirl. We'll wait and see on his status moving forward. If he's not in tonight, who has to step up? Well, you start at uh, Nick Robertson, right? He's the one playing the game who likely would have been a scratch if Nylander uh, was able to play. And, and you know, kind of an interesting season for Robertson, right? He doesn't play a lot of minutes, doesn't always get to, you know a, a good spot up in the lineup, but he just finds a way to score goals. And even four years ago when it was the, the COVID bubble playoffs, the last time he was in the Stanley Cup playoffs, very different atmosphere than what he's going to find here at TD Garden, but he scored in that series against Columbus. And so you know, I think that, that he's someone that, that could be sort of a surprise uh, for the Leafs lineup, may, may give them a jolt with a big goal. Uh, you know, look for Cal Yarncroke as well. It's been five weeks uh, since he played a game. He's, he's had sort of a star cross second half of the season as well. So it be interesting to see how he draws in, you know, down the lineup. But, you know, beyond that, let's face it, William Nylander is one of the team stars. It's, it's the big ones at the top of the lineup, Matthews and Marner, uh, who are, are going to have a lot of spotlight on them in, in game one. Well, you mentioned Yarncroke. He did take Nylander's spot on the top power play unit at yesterday's practice. As for Robertson, first Stanley Cup playoff game with fans tonight and first time playing in the NHL in this building. So a big, big moment for him. So this is uh, not an optimal start to the series, I would say, for the Maple Leafs. You and I, we're getting set for our fourth leafs Bruin series. It has not gone well for Toronto in the past. So give us a reason why you think this year could be different for the Maple Leafs. Well, it's a different team. Even since 2019, only five returnees from the Leafs uh, of that era to, to the current day. And the most important thing, I think, is the guys I mentioned, Matthews, Marner, these guys are older now. Like, these are established players who know what they're doing. We've seen Austin Matthews in particular took a step with his game, in my opinion, to a level he had never previously been at. And this is someone who's won a Hart Trophy a couple years ago. And so this is a, a, a very different Leafs outfit. I understand if you're in the fan base or, you know, even an observer like us, it feels the same for us. But I, it's not the same Leafs team. It's not the same Bruins team either, right? They've, they've moved on from Patrice Bergeron, David Krejci, retiring after last season. Zidane Ochara is no longer here. Tuka Rask is no longer here. I mean, real pillars of the teams that beat the Leafs uh, in the past are, are gone and, and they've had a fantastic regular season but I just don't think on paper they're the same team that they used to be but look the game's decided on the ice uh, I certainly do think though the Leafs have their probably their best chance if you look at those series individually uh, to, to dispatch the Bruins yeah a lot of new faces on this Leafs team including Joel Edmondson not everyone has bad memories in this building on this Leafs team Edmondson won a Stanley Cup here with the St. Louis Blues back in 2019 and he said this morning as he was getting set for game one he took a moment to come out here look around so it in, relive some of those good memories. We'll see if it helps him tonight in game one.